Hello, happy stampers. This is Kate with Kate's Paper Creations, and I welcome you to my weekly casing the catalog video and blog. And let me show you what I am casing today from the new 2021-2022 Stampin' Up! annual catalog. I am looking at page 56 and the Turtle and Friends, Turtle Friends bundle. So this is the page it's page 56 and this is the card we're going to be doing a slimline card today so let's get started so i am using turtle and friends bundle and so this is the stamp set and then it comes with a punch for the little turtle and i'm not can't say i'm really sure what these little um dots are for somebody's gonna have to fill me in on that one okay so that's the stamp set i'm going to be using I'm also going to be using the rectangle stitch dies and I am using this one right here for the sentiment just so you know and the embellishments that you will see on the project are the blue adhesive backed gems and I'm using the lighter of the two colors and the clouds that you're going to see on the card are from the give it a whirl dies and there are three clouds three different shapes and so those are the clouds we're going to be using on the card today so let's get started the base of the card is balmy blue cardstock it is seven by eight and a half scored at three and a half to make a slim line card then the art layer is just a quarter of an inch smaller than the front so the front is now three and a half by eight and a half so this piece is now three and a quarter by eight and a quarter so it will leave a blue border all the way around then i am going to hunt down a piece of scrap paper here we'll bring this in and just fold it over and I'm going to use balmy blue ink and a Stampin' Blends brush and put some color across the top of this and get some good and I don't mind this particular time that the swirls show because it just to me makes the whole um, cloud image look even better. I want to come down just a little bit further. I think that looks good. Okay, so there's my balmy blue. And then in the catalog, you can see they used the new masks to do this um, across the bottom. And I believe they used um, Granny Apple Green. For the color i do not have those masks yet so i am making do and in the turtle and friends stamp there is a little tiny clump of grass and so i used granny apple green and this little grass stamp and i just it takes a while because it's, it's kind of small but it's all i had and I just stamped them and overlapped them. I didn't worry about any particular um, spacing or anything. The only thing I didn't want to do was have them all just be in a row. And so I'm purposely not letting that happen. Now I'm going to kind of come uphill a little bit and give it some... So you can just get carried away it doesn't have to be any particular um, and, and it ended up turning out really cute you'll see when we get done that it actually comes out pretty pretty cool looking and you know that's the whole idea of casing is to make take something and I'm missing the pad <laughs> take something and make do or change it up so that it becomes an original and um, typically, I really made a mess of that block, didn't I? So we'll clean that up, put that aside. I think that's enough grass. 
Okay, then I stamped the turtle with Memento Black ink. And I am going to color him with the Soft Succulent Light Blends Pen. And I am coloring the whole thing. I'm leaving his eye white. And... So yeah, I already stamped him and punched him out with the punch. Him, her, whatever. And um, so get that. And I also did the whole body and you'll see what I did next to get the design. But I wanted the whole body to be colored. His shell, I should say just like that and then I had the soft succulent dark that I used to color his little tail with just to give it a little bit different color there and I used the blends pen black pen to color his little toes with just like that so now he's colored so then I brought in evening evergreen and this is what I'm going to do his shell pattern with. And here's the stamp for that. And got it inked good. It's not hard to line up at all. And there's his little shell all filled in. Isn't he cute? I think so. <laughs> oh, I'm going to leave Evening Evergreen out because I'm also going to stamp There is a Happy Birthday in the set. And this is that piece I cut out from with the stitched rectangle dies. And I am going to stamp that happy birthday right in there like that. So it's ready to go. Now it's just a matter of putting it together. I'm going to put the clouds on. Let's get this out from under so it's easier to see the difference. I'm going to turn my stitched clouds over and put dimensionals on them and on the sentiment. Let me get those out and we'll put two of them on the sentiment just like that and we'll put one on this cloud that one going to put some um, minis at the tips of these two clouds three clouds I should say this one this one and this one so we'll put minis on those let's get those pulled off so they're ready to go okay and then we'll just put the clouds on here let's see let's put this one here and they're raised up which makes them look really cute they're just so floating it's just adorable and here and let's put one here and then the turtle I thought about popping him up also and then I decided against that I decided to leave him down flat so I'm just going to get out some regular stamp and seal adhesive put a little bit on each of those spots and I'm going to put him right here with his feet down in the grass and there's that and then here's the happy birthday and it's going to just go right here and then I'm just going to attach all of this to the card front flat with stamp and seal this is such a cute set great for some kids cards but great for just fun cards to give adults to and cause them to smile because this card would make me smile if I got it in the mail and I just would think it was so cute so there it is on the front of the card and if you want to make um, an envelope for this card with your designer series papers I have a video for that 
um, and I'll put a link to that in the description box below as well as a link to my online store where if you order from me I will send you a small gift for each time you order and what else I guess there's also a link to my blog where you can learn about current promotions specials and sales that might be going on and anything um, that I might be adding with personal incentives so I hope you'll consider shopping with me and I thank you for stopping by